Hi, you might wonder how you could use a Venn diagram approach to find a greatest common divisor or a least common multiple if you have three numbers involved. So I'm going to do an example of that. I've got three numbers here and I went ahead and did a factor tree in advance to uh, set them up. Um, 96, which factors is 2 to the 5th times third to times 3. 900, which is 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 squared. And 630, which is uh, 2 times 3 squared times 5 times 7. So suppose you want to find the greatest common divisor and least common multiple of those. You can create a Venn diagram with three numbers. You just need to have three sets. So you make one set to represent the factors of 96, another set to represent the factors of 900, and a third one to represent the factors of 630. And what you do then is you look at the factorizations and see what is the maximum number of factors that you can put in every region. So, for example, if you started in the center region where all three sets overlap, you would be looking for as many factors as you could find that show up in all three factorizations. So, if you look at these, you'll see that there's twos and threes everywhere, but the most numbers of twos and threes that show up in every one of those factorizations is just one of each. One, two, and one three. So you put one two and one three there. Then say you look at the region right above that. Well, those would be any factors that are in common between just 96 and 900 that you have not already used. So if I compare just 96 and 900, I see that uh, 900 has two twos, 96 has five twos, so the most twos in common is two of them. We've already accounted for one of them in the center region, though, so we would need one more. Looking at the threes, uh, 96 has one three, 900 has two threes. Well, the maximum number of threes is one, and we've already got one, so we're good there. And between 96 and 900, there's nothing else in common. So then you look at the 900 and the 630, say over here on the right, and you look again, what do we have in common between uh, the 900 and the 630 we have not already used? So I look at the 900 and the 630. They both have, 900 has two twos, 630 has one two, so the maximum number of twos in common is just one, and we've already got that. Uh, between the threes, there's a three squared. I've only got one three so far, so if I could put another one right there, that would be great. And I also see that both of them have a 5 in common, so I'll put a 5. Now I compare 96 and 630 over on the left. Excuse me, 90, yeah, 96 and 630. Uh, comparing the two of them, I see a 2 in common and a 3 in common, and that's it. So there would be nothing else that I could put in that sort of lower left region there. That's just going to have to stay empty. Then I look at the 96 circle altogether, so that all the factors of 96 need to be in the 96 circle. And I've already accounted for two twos and one three. Since the factorization is two to the fifth, that means there would be three more twos. And that takes care of 96. Now all the factors of 96 are in the 96 circle. Uh, 900, right now I've got two twos, two threes, and one five. Looks like I need another five to get all the factors of 900. And looking at the 630, I've got one two, two threes, and one five accounted for already. The only additional factor that would be a factor of 630 only would be a seven. So this tells me how to distribute all the factors between those three sets. Now, in, in the next regard, greatest common divisor and least common multiple is the same whether you have two sets or three. The greatest common divisor is the product of all the factors of the intersection of all three sets. So we look at the intersection of all three, and the intersection of all three is only that middle 
region, which I'm going to put a little check mark, just that region right there. So the greatest common divisor has to be 2 times 3, 6. That's the greatest common divisor. The least common multiple is the product of all the factors in the union, so that is absolutely everything I see anywhere in any of those circles. And if I count it up carefully, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five twos, two threes, two fives, and one seven. So that's a rather large number there. That, that accounts for every factor you see anywhere in any of the three circles. And you get your calculator out and multiply that out, that out. And the least common multiple is, if you do all that, 50,400. I hope that helps.